Howdy everyone, hello, welcome back to more of Let's Play Resident Evil 7's on Madhouse. I'm Gordon Lewis, the Black Shadow. We are about geared up and ready to go to challenge Marguerite at the greenhouse. I did decide to go and spend my coins getting hold of the uh, the assault coin here. I don't know if it was a wise decision to get that instead of the defense coin, but like... I think it's probably better for us in the alternative, but you know you can take it either way. I think um, I think either either is good for you, one way or the other. Anyways, we got ourselves a fun boss fight to uh, get ready to delve into. This is going to be technically our third time doing this, of course. Uh, you have to do this boss fight as well at the end of the Ethan Must Die mode, which kind of helps in me kind of uh, feeling semi-confident about this fight. So, yeah, hopefully we can have a, a, a decent run through here because obviously we know we've got some challenging stuff to come up. Uh, but this fight is still not going to be easy. Uh, Marguerite's going to be dangerous. My concern is she's going to be pretty damn quick. Uh, that's one thing you can sort of do is you can kind of like outmaneuver her a lot in normal. She's going to be pretty speedy and like her bugs that she's going to summon are also going to be a problem. So, yeah. Ah, oh, right. That's for the Magnum rounds, isn't it? Okay, we don't actually need that on this. Once we've acquired the photo, uh, the item spawn will appear. So we can just discard that immediately. The magnum rounds are in the trailer in the toilet. So we'll get those later. First things first, everyone. This. This will be. Let's grab some goods. I. Gobs of burner fuel. Another padlock door, padlock chest for us to open. Wow. I wonder where we're going to get all these lockpick from. I do wonder. Oh. That's where it's going to spawn. I see. Huh. Okay. Where's the other repair? Oh, it was the it's the third treasure. Uh, it's the third treasure photo is what gives you the um, the repair kit. So we won't be getting the uh, the M1911 up and running for a little while. This is fine. Okay, we need to sort our inventory out. I think I'm just gonna eat both these herbs. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna use both of these. That gives me that. Uh, I can use this. To just get some extra um, enhanced rounds, which we can use for this fight. Man, we need to find some uh, some lot picks, everyone. That's like two or three chests now uh, that we've discovered. There's one there. There's one like there. Kind of crazy. Alright, here we go. I probably shouldn't have grabbed the cassette tapes. I probably should have left those there. Never mind. It's fine, everyone. It's fine. Yep, yeah, gate's definitely blocking the way. We won't be able to do anything for that currently. Man, I remember coming down here just being trapped like absolutely everywhere. <laughs> Man, those were uh, those were the days, everyone. As it, having gotten through this on Ethan Must Die makes me feel a bit happy about doing this now. I don't think we need to worry about that door. Probably. Uh, we might as well grab the shells because we've got the space to do it. There's a strong chem fluid down here, which is good to know, I guess. Yeah, nothing to combine that with, so. Alright, here we go. Good luck, me. <laughs> Don't you worry, none! I rather would! <laughs> Bitch. Right. Gotcha! 
Holy fuck! Wow. I was not expecting that. Holy hell. That's original. Come on now. You're not afraid of a girl, are you? Shit. God almighty, folks. Got the flame rounds of four. Tons of burner fuel being given to me. I mean, like, I appreciate that. Where'd she go? Is she? She is, isn't she? It's kind of grim. Show yourself. Burn, bitch. Fuck. Use two of those. There we go. Right, let's get some goods. Shit. There she go. Somewhere. Feels like this boss fight is definitely going a little differently. There she is. Not the best shot I ever fired in the world. Must be stated. Right. Get this open. I do kind of like it. Like, Jack is kind of like stalker nuts, whereas, um... Yeah, freaking Marguerite is just completely off her, off her rocker. Just completely several levels of insane. Pretty awesome. I missed! That was bad. One grenade shot that I sort of so missed, and then one I just totally ripped. Yuck. You got nowhere to go now, boy. I think I made myself another flame round here. Oh my god. Or two even. You fucking go. There's no escape, city boy. Wait for it. Wait for a chance. Fuck is she a fucking spider? You're not getting away this time. Ah! Can't tell if she was dead or not. Damn, off she goes. Fuck. Separating agent, it's kind of cool. Take that. 
Combine that with that. Take some more enhanced rounds. I don't know where she's gone. Oh, man. Jesus hates Marguerite. It's a family show. Get it? Family bacon? Yeah, I thought it was pretty funny today. I'm here all week. Oh, good God. Speaking of here all week. Ah! How is she not dead yet? My god! <laughs> this is probably not a good idea. This was a terrible plan. We can make ourselves some more uh, flame rounds. Flame ammo. Yep, we're going to do that, definitely. There she is. Fucking hell. Okay. That's a tough little fight. That's a tough little fight. Good. Yeah, I had to uh I had to work for that everyone. No, no question about that. I had to work for it. So much punishment, everyone. That was insane how hard I had to hit her. Good God. But we won, and that's only all that matters, so. Thank God. Alright, we had the lantern. Nice. I think, uh. Yeah. We're about done. We head over here. No, awesome. Awesome. Anti coin. A few more burn of rounds, because why not? Merry Christmas. And we do need to go and get ourselves our broken handgun. So, he's going to do that. But yeah, that is, uh, that went pretty nicely. Took a bit of damage, nothing too atrocious. Maybe I, I guess I did make the right call, you know? I guess I did make the right call. And that's, uh, that makes me happy. Alright, let's go drop some stuff off here quickly. Uh, we'll drop those. Um, I guess that can be dropped. Probably don't need these right now. We can definitely drop the grenade launcher. We ain't going to be needing that. So we can put the M21 back on. That can go there. We'll take the shotgun shells back. That's a nice, healthy uh, stack of shells. That was pretty good. So, yeah. We ain't going to get the M20, uh, the, M the M1911. We're not going to get that until we get the repair kit. We won't get the repair kit until we get into here, which won't be for a little while yet. So we are going to be on the Glock for a while. This is inherently that bad, I think. Like, definitely. getting the You have to get the M the this shotgun, like, as soon as you can. It's so going to be so big for us. In a moment. So, so big for us. 
So many lot picks though, like damn. You can discover where some of these are. I wonder if there's anything actually left here either, like in this boss area. Like them, I remember there was a good couple of items I missed the first time around. Hmm. Do I want to use some psycho stimulants to have a hunting round? I might do so. I think I will. Gonna save the game first, and then yeah, I'm gonna probably do some hunting round. See if there's anything else that I've missed there. So uh, I'll be two sex. All right, so all that was missed that I could find was uh, there was a bit of burner fuel and there was a chemical fluid. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and combine this with the first aid with, to make another first aid med, which we're gonna put there, and we should be fine. I think I'm also gonna drop the burner for now. I don't think I really need to take it with me. It gives me some inventory space to play with, which is always good. Um, so yeah, and we're just gonna rely on the M21 for now. For this next section, heading back through the um, the second floor of the guest house. I think that should be more than enough to take care of uh, what we're going to be delving into, folks. I think we should be good. Alright then, so we need to head this away. Head on through here. Um, I should probably also do a scour through um, the guest house as well. Um, because again, there might be stuff that I have missed. Should I use some psycho stimulants up here? It's gonna be pitch black, right? And if there's stuff hiding up there, like, I'm gonna struggle to see it. No, I think we should be okay. I think we should be good. And if not, then... Damn. Also, by the way... This bit was so... So awesome. First time round. Really enjoyed this. It is set up really, really damn well. You just immediately tell that you're about to go into some bullshit. <laughs> it's like, yep. Yep, you definitely are. You're about to go to a bad, bad place. Again, what's the mean from just, you know, pulling the damn chain up? Now, it is not impossible that the game, obviously, if you're playing Madhouse, the game knows that you've played this before. And that you're not going to be as terrified of this situation because, you know, you've done it once. It's not going to have the same effect on you. So, I wouldn't be surprised if the game is going to attempt to ambush me somehow or another. Try and trick me. Yeah. This picture, everyone. This picture. So, yeah. I'm not as afraid because, like, I know kind of ish what to expect, but the game might still try something. You never know. Here's the boat, of course. Everyone dying. Yeah, this this bear, by the way. He put it down and like molds up and shit. Yeah, that's kind of creepy. Not gonna lie. Just such a great section, this. Just the eeriness of it all and just the build up. Like, literally, 
You'd think this was Silent Hill, not Resident Evil. Fuck, I forgot about them. Fucking things. I wonder then, is this basically like where the contamination like started from? Like in here, perhaps? Yeah. Yeah, I think that's uh what can only be defined as an understatement. Stay away. I would if I could. Unfortunately, that's not how this story goes. Poor bakers, eh? And I think the hospitality that the bakers only did offer, Evelyn. I mean, they could never have known what was going to happen. They could never have known. There's the clue. Although... What the hell this is doing back here? I got nothing. Yeah. Oh god. I guess this is it. That is grim. Also, yeah, you come back and find the room like this. You're just like, oh dear. Great stuff. Did he just iframe two shotgun shells? That wasn't cool. That was also a significantly better shot. It makes up for the two we missed earlier on, I think. There we go. We got what we need. I know, right, Ethan? How could this be useful for anything, right? Grim. Yeah, I got it. Are we really going to be able to make serum with this thing? It'll be fine. After we make it, we can get out of here. Together. I'll be waiting for you in the trailer. All right. As it turns out, Zoe just happens to be some freaking chemist extraordinaire. You know, this whole trial prodigy stuff uh, really gets uh, protagonists out of some major jams in, in video games. Wouldn't you know? I'll look off screen. It'll be fine. Now, one thing I don't actually know. Is this making me run slightly faster? 
I've been thinking this ever since I got the damn coin. I feel like I'm running faster around. Could be completely wrong. But it just feels like I'm a little nippier in moving around. If so, then I definitely made the right call. Like, not even close. Here we go. Now, where the hell are you? You know, never mind. We only need the head, and you've got it. And this is gonna help me and me, right? Hey, buddy! I thought you should know. I decided that Zoe needed a timeout. She and Mia are here with me. And they're keeping each other company. Just let them both go. What do you need them for? Nah, uh, uh, that's <laughs> family business, Ethan, and not your concern, understand? <clears throat> Now, if you want the head, feel free to come by any time and I'll give it to you. But only if you participate in a little, uh, activity I've put together just for you. What activity? Oh, 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 I know you're excited, but don't worry. It's not going anywhere. First step I need you to take, <laughs> partner. It's for you to take a peek inside the fridge in the trailer there. Fuck you! Oh, come on now. Don't be like that. You want to have fun, don't you? Now, look in the fridge. I will say... Deputy Eagle it really rough. What's left of him? But yeah. Jesus H, everyone. Jesus H. One thing I've also noticed, folks, is that there's no happy birthday tape on Madhouse. So you're just, because, I mean, you don't really need to do the happy birthday tape because, like, you, sh you know, you do it the once to get the, the loser code for the door. Uh, that's the whole point on normal, is to do it so that when you take it on with Ethan, that you know the code and you can get away without getting yourself killed. That's the whole idea. So I guess I understand why it's not there. Still, though, it's kind of fun to play for, you know? I actually wouldn't mind that. I think I might actually want that more than the defense coin. Which is kind of crazy. I'm already abandoned the... Oh, yeah, Magnum Rounds, by the way. I've already abandoned the freaking, um, like, the defense manual. I'm going to say no to the defense coin, too. That's pretty brave. All pretty stupid. Unsure. Anyways, we can put that away. We won't be needing that for a little while. Uh, I think it's just two coins. We're going to need some more. Okay, then. Yeah, yeah. I think I'm going to go and have a quick run through the old house, make sure there wasn't anything I'd run through. I'll probably use the stimulants for it. Um, so yeah, give me two secs. Yeah, that's a nice little find. All right, that was well worth the stimulants. Uh, found some fuels, found some burner fuel... Uh, a couple of shotgun rounds, uh, an antique coin as well. Yeah, that was a uh, that was a decent use of the stimulants, everyone. Um, I think that's pretty much pretty much covered everything. Like there might be something hiding in the second floor, which I just didn't go to find. I can only cover so much of the stimulants, but uh, yeah, that was um, that was pretty probable. That was a nice use of the stimulants there. But yeah, like you're probably better off doing it once the area is clear, so you can just sprint through and just get as much as you can. Because uh, you're going to find the obvious stuff anyways, uh, which is going to use time. You're, you're using it to find stuff that's kind of hidden out of the way. Yeah, we've had like five or six uh, drops of various bits and pieces. So yeah, that was, um, that was pretty damn nice. Yeah, this. 
Okay then, folks. So yeah, we are headed down now to the processing facility again. Go get to the morgue uh, to get hold of the snake key, which is the next thing for us to do. Obviously, there's no there's no Marguerite. Uh, there's no Jack for now. But I'm sure there's going to be plenty of molded. Uh, we can drop that off there. Uh, we can drop those off, the fuels too. What else I can combine the fuels with, actually? I wonder if they can only be combined uh, with the um, things. I'm sure. Uh, with the chemical fluids. Probably. Probably. Yeah, the fact that you can combine gunpowder with regular ammo to make enhanced... Like, I, I, that is really big to know that. Like, I probably don't need to make handgun rounds. I can probably just find enough. And kind of just suffice with what I find. Probably. And just use the count the gunpowder does. Um, and combine those with the rounds I find to turn them into enhanced. I think that's probably gonna be probably fair uh well that'll work enough. So I was can save chemical fluids for like herbs, I can save it for like the um things. Forgot you're down here. Poor fucking deputy man. They just come in here on a standard call. He gets half his head taken off with a shovel. That sucked. Right. So. Was rather rudely interrupted last time. Didn't appreciate that. Didn't appreciate that. In the... Damn. Took a beating too. Sheesh. I imagine I'm not the only person who died to that. I'm... I'm fairly confident of this. Should be noted as well, something that I didn't make a mention of uh, the first time I played this game. You may notice now that we're coming in here that there's lots of more mold around um, than there was before. This is reflected as you go around uh, various parts and places of the... Um, various parts and places of the map as you return to them later in the game. Because obviously the mold is gradually spreading because of all the, the virus and shit. This is shown when you eventually get back to the beginning part of the game, how there's like mold everywhere. And the first time you go through the very start, like it's, um, there's barely any to be found. Um, it is worth noting that is, um, that is a thing that is occurring. It's a nice kind of quiet, um, story mechanic, you know? I appreciate it. Got little choice. Sorry, buddy. Oh, 
We got what we needed. <laughs> that pretty little thing will help you find the two key cards you're going to need to join the party we're having over here. You've got to earn your way, Ethan. Yeah. Cheers. Time to get the hell out of here. Me? Please just shut. Man, this shotgun is so good. It's easy my favorite weapon of the game. Like it's it's not even <gasps> shit. Go. Shit in hell. Occasionally the doors do that. It's pretty frustrating when they do. Pretty frustrating when they do. We made it. Okay. Okay, so we need the key for there and there. Yeah, that sounds about right. We've got plenty of memory space. This is good. There's just no reason not to do that, as far as I'm concerned. There's just no reason not to do it. I'm gonna try and avoid this one, though. And we'll get ourselves into... Uh, we'll go this way first. So yeah, like here too, you can see how there's loads of mold now where there wasn't previously. I did notice this the first time, I just didn't really comment on it, so... Right, okay then, so... So, was this Evelyn? Oh no, this is Lucas. find the one we're looking for. It's like, given this, folks, it's like really, really cool. Um, like how there's like just a little bit of time to plot here. Yeah, so 1998, he got the honorable mention. Um, in the second one, he got third place. And in the second, and then he got the, the third one, he got second. So he was like improving as he went. Shotgun shell, cassette tape. Yeah, just like giving a little background on Lucas. Again, it's not it's not told, you know, you're not you're not like told like, you know, like you're an idiot or anything. The game just puts it there for you just to take it your own time, you know. It's 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 neat. It's appreciated, you know. What the hell is that down there? Ah the shotgun shell. We'll take that. Yoink. And of course this is the uh this is this one. Yep. Oliver. Oliver needed to, um. Different set of friends. Boo! Boo! <sighs> I hear you. Somewhere. I was trying to work out, do I want to spare a, uh, a round in here? I'm like, yeah, I do. So, yeah. Here's the renovation contract. Here's the toy axe. Uh, this is for the puzzle outside, which we can now actually go ahead and do. 
Ooh, hang around said that. Sneaky. There's the happy birthday. T oh, the happy birthday was up here? Man, I don't even remember this. We don't need the tape. We don't have to do it. We know what the solution is. I, I assume we... Well, the game actually let us put in the solution without actually doing the happy birthday section. I actually don't know. We'll take it, sure. What the hell? Just in case we have to do that to be able to get out of it with Ethan. The game may uh, may not let us do such a thing. Yep, yeah, here's this little puzzle. Oh, uh, this way. Ooh. Nearly. Come on. There we go. Again, really cool little contextual puzzles, folks. I really do appreciate these. I think it's a really nice touch, you know. A nice modern slant on the old, uh, the old school Resident Evil puzzle style, you know. Yep. She's about to have a bad day. I don't think there's anything else around here. Looks good. Okay, our inventory is kind of full. That's not really good. Uh, we'll still head in, though. Is anything else I actually need to do here? I think we just go straight on here. How you doing? You good? You been out of trouble? We'll nab those. Yes. This puzzle. Okay, let's have a look around here. Grab some goods. Yeah, I think... This was Jack, like, 25 years ago. A young Jack. It's pretty cool. Again, just little things like that. Just, like, little side bits of story. You know, again, you're not ha you're not like hand fed it or anything. You know, the game doesn't drive it down you. It's just there for you to just kind of quietly find and digest. Be like, yeah, that's pretty cool. Nice, subtle, subtle storytelling. That's how you do it, everyone. Ah, a lot pick for us. Nice. Ah, it's the treasure photo. Oh, shit. I could have grabbed that and ditched it, and then immediately ditched it. Oh, I can't pick that up. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Where's the other clocks? Ah! How the fuck did I miss that? Unbelievable, Shadow. Okay, so that's the treasure photo. So that's where our broken handgun parts are. Uh, I remember roughly where it is. We can just discard that. That'll be fine. I haven't, like, missed another one, have I? I would feel so dumb if I've, like, missed one. So, so, so stupid. Nice to have a lockpick, though. So the question is, what lockpick do I use it on? Oh, I don't remember what time it was needed. Uh, damn. It's fine. We'll go and, uh... Find a clock like, you know, that one. Right. Before we do that puzzle, though, I want to head out. Are you going to check? Oh, of course you fucking are. Fuck. This is not a fight, fight I needed to do, but, well. When you're quite finished. Yeesh. Yeah, so here's the puzzle, everyone. So 
yeah, we use this. We use this to uh, make our seven. And that'll give us... There is a stabilizer. Nice. All right. Time for some drugs. Lindles. <laughs> All right. That will increase our reload speeds. Not bad. Yeah, I say, like, I'm not surprised I missed that first time. That's super easy to miss if you don't know it's there. Super duper easy. All right, then. So, put this in here. And then, we want to go back. Don't think we need the snake key anymore. We can probably just drop this for a moment. That can go there. That can go there. Got the lock pick. What do I want to use the lock pick on? Um, I've got a couple of choices. Are we up to on antique coins as well? Four coins. I tell you what, if we get of one more coin, I might just get the second stabilizer and take both of those. But then it's nine for the magnum. That's a lot. Hmm. Am I going to realistically find nine more before the end of the game? I don't know. That's a tough, that's a tough question to have, have, a, have an answer to. I also kind of don't want to use any more handgun rounds because we're pretty close to getting the uh, M1911. We'll get that once we go into the testing area. Which is pretty close. So quarter past ten. <sighs> so this is the route that Clancy took in order to uh, escape the bedroom, folks, which is yeah, a nice little... Uh, Thing to remember and make, take, make mention of. And this takes us into the workshop. Which is down here. Oh my, oh my god. Yeah. I know. It's pretty, uh... Pretty grisly stuff. There's the key card. I'm going to take this last. I'm going to make sure there's nothing in here to grab first. Like that. And that. Yuck, everyone. Yuck. All right, there's everything down here. We are not safe. I guess we're going around. Whoa! Oh shit, I hadn't reloaded! Oh, so that reload boost. Ooh, that's pretty nice. all kinds of regret. I didn't expect that to make the run around as well. I think I was a bit unlucky there. I'll be honest. I think I was a little, little unlucky. That's the way it goes. you want. Hey, buddy. Remember, those two key cards will get you into the party. 
Don't be late now. Let me talk to Mia. No, no, no. You gotta show up first. <coughs> you haven't forgotten where the party is, have you? You can get in from the courtyard. So come on, man. Everybody's waiting for you. <coughs> Now, remember that Lucas is, like, he's not under the same control that the rest of the Baker family is to Evelyn. So I can only assume he's just this crazy. Like, most of the time. Have you read the files? Fuck me! I mean... There was more than one. Fuck. Damn it. Alright, folks. This is going to be the end of the video, so I thank you very much for watching. Guess I get to do that segment again. Um, except this time, I'll try and not get myself killed. So thank you all for watching. I'll see you soon.